Hola familia! Welcome back to my channel. Here is baby Teddy, who you guys know. My name is Lily, for those of you who are new, and welcome back to workout number five of our 10 day Algar Sculpt. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, please do give this video a thumbs up. Please do hit the subscribe button. It massively, massively supports my channel. Come on, Teddy, let's show them what you got. Sit, pull, down, bang. So today's workout is all about the waist, the core, and the shoulders. So it's gonna be quite intense. workout but please remember these workouts are for everyone I give modifications depending on whatever level you are working at we can do this together all I need you to grab is a set of dumbbells if you don't have dumbbells grab whatever you've got I've got three kgs here without further ado let's burn that core okay the timer has started we're nice and upright the palms are in or up and we're going to roll back to what I call our fighting point. A nice C shape in the body, the core is turned on, relax those shoulders and as we breathe out we're going to do mini pulsations up. Okay, so it's 10 minutes each circuit. Within those 10 minutes we're doing 45 seconds on, 15 seconds recovery. The first circuit is purely out. The second circuit is purely shoulders and arms, and the third one's the combo. Okay, so I'm really gonna burn because it's only 10 minutes. So we wanna make it worthwhile. We're coming into that home straight, last five seconds. One, and relax. We're lying down now, guys, and we're gonna go for dead bugs. Those of you who follow me on Instagram know how much I love this exercise. We're coming up into double leg tabletops, 90 degrees at the knees and the hips. Up in a crunch, let's go. The opposite arm to leg straightens out. Now everyone who's at this level, keep going, take it nice and slow. Anyone wanting to go slightly lower level, you can go single leg and I'll tell you when to change sides, okay? So the goal is to keep the lower back flat, keep the core engaged and eye gaze forward. If you're on the single leg, I now want you to change sides. Everyone else, you're that full dead bug position and you're breathing through it. This is exercise number two of 10. 10 seconds left, come on. We can do it guys, no giving up. All the way through, I wanna burn that core. Amazing, 15 seconds recovery. The core should be nice and warm. Now, I want you to grab a weight. We're going for a set of hundreds. You can go without the weight. You're gonna place the weight in between the shins. We're up in a crunch. Our hands are in hover, and we're pumping the arms up and down. The upper body stays completely still. We breathe in for five, and we breathe out for five. Beginners, place the toes down, okay? And keep going there. Come on, guys, breathing all the way through. Support the head if you have to. Remember, this workout is at whatever level you feel you can go. I just really want that core burning. All the way through, we've got 20 seconds left. So if that weight's there, I want to fill my core. So I'm going to put that weight there. I am not going to give up. Neither are you guys. Okay, home straight, 10 seconds. Come on, guys. Five seconds. Two, one. Woo! Amazing. Pop that weight. Actually, keep a hold of that weight. And grab the other one as well. We're going to work the arms a little bit with this one. Move the feet slightly away from the body. You're going to use the arms and weights as momentum to come up, punch, punch, and back. We've started, let's go. And back. Now if any of you are struggling to come up with this, please don't worry. What I want you to do, everyone else keep going, is just roll back, punch, punch, and up. Roll back, punch, punch, and up. Okay, punch, punch. Everyone else, we're going back. Full roll down, full roll up. And I want you to punch with power, okay? We're really, really working those arms, those shoulders. As you'll notice, with this circuit, I'm not doing many obliques at all. So I'm not working into the sides of the waist all that much, just because that can actually thicken the waist. So we want to avoid that. I am so proud of you guys. Come on, keep pushing. Woo! 
15 seconds recovery, breathe it out, allow those guts to relax. The next one is possibly the worst, it's the hardest, but I love it at the same time, okay? Our legs are up, we're gonna reach for our toes and back down again. For those of you who wanna go with this intermediate advanced level, off you go. Those of you who are beginner, just getting started on your fitness journey, I know I've got a lot of mummies as well following me. Shout out to all my mummies who may have just given birth. You want to work those abs again, but you need to be a little bit careful. You can go with this level instead, okay? It's entirely up to you. Keep pushing for me, guys. I'm so proud of you. 15 seconds left. Amazing. All the way, five seconds. Two, one, woo! Okay, we're gonna repeat those exercises now. Round two, we're gonna make them a little bit harder. Okay, so taking the weights into your hands, both of them, we've got five seconds left of recovery. We're gonna roll back again. One, rolling back to our biting point, holding the weights in nice and tight, and we're gonna go with those mini pulsations for 10, three, four, five, six, keep those arms nice and strong, seven, eight, nine, ten, hover the right leg, flex the foot, five, four, three, two, one, left side, five, four, three, two, one, repeat, ten, nine, breathe, eight, come on, you can do it, seven, breathe, five, four, three, Two. Now we're going to hold for the last three seconds. Two, one. Woo! Well done, guys. Straight into dead bugs. Your core should be on fire right now. That is the goal, okay? Double leg tabletop. And we're going to go for dead bugs. Two, one. Let's go. So the goal with this is consistency. Keep pushing. If you need to, drop to that lower level. I just don't want anyone stopping, okay? We've so got this. We're all at different levels, but we can all achieve our goals. We've got this, guys. No giving up. If you feel like giving up, look up at me. No I am watching you and get back into that position. It is only a 30 minute workout. Changing sides if you're on single leg. Everyone else go with that double leg dead bugs. Come on, all the way through. Home straight, 10 seconds. Come on, guys. Nearly there now. Two, one. Woo! We are going into hundreds next. Woo! My core is feeling it and I love that burn. I hope you guys do too. Okay, so we're gonna place the weight in between the thighs, well, not the thighs, the shins. If you want to make it harder, let's go. Supporting the head and neck if you have to guys, or if you want to. It can be quite sore on the neck, this exercise. And your goal is to keep that lower back flat, okay? Keep that core engaged. Breathe. Breath in. Two, three, four, five. Breath out. Two, three, four, five. Breath in. Two, three, four, five. Breath out. Two, three, four, five. Hi, Teddy. Hi, baby. If you feel that your lower back is arching, guys, make sure that you readjust. Make sure that that lower back is nice and flat. Thank you for blocking my form, Bubba. <laughs> Keep going for me. Anyone wanting to, you can straighten the legs out and you can do that with the weight. One, woo! Well done, 15 seconds recovery. We're going with our sit up and punch. So grabbing those weights. We have got this, guys. Okay, core nice and tight. Think about that core. Okay, let's go. Up, one, two. So this is the only one really that we're going for speed. Of course we want our form to be right, but we're also getting our heart rate up here. Amazing work, guys. Incredible. Yeah, we got this. Amazing, come on, no giving up. Oh, you're bringing me pumpkin, baby. Are you bringing me pumpkin? Oh, thank you so much, Bob. <laughs> this is hilarious. Hello, baby. Hello. We've got 10 seconds left. Come on. 10 I'll throw pumpkin in three seconds. Two, one. Woo. 15 seconds recovery. Ready? 
his head. Go! Go! Get right, baby! Toe reaches, guys, in five seconds. In five seconds, legs are up. High, baby. One, reaching for those toes. Again, if you want to, placing the feet down and reaching there. I can see Teddy is up to trouble. All the way through, guys. So the goal is to be feeling that lower core. If you can bring those legs up, incredible. This is your last exercise. Make it worthwhile. We're on number 10 of 10. No giving up. All the way. 15 seconds. Oh, yes. Come on, guys. and a 1kg because a few of these exercises are really, really challenging. So you actually can go without weights for some of them. We're gonna get stuck straight in. Number one, we're gonna go with a front raise. Setting those shoulders back, core tight, coming up. And as per, we're not lowering the whole way down. We're keeping the tension on. So we're gonna be working into bingo wings. We're gonna be working into the shoulders, creating that X frame, nice, strong shoulders to create the illusion of an hourglass. This is something that I'm massively focusing on at the moment, guys. My arms, my shoulders, my upper back. I feel like I lost a lot of strength with my injury, particularly around my hips, actually. But I really want to get nice and strong again. And I'm on my way. I'm on that journey with you guys. Last three seconds. Woo! 15 seconds recovery, shake those arms out, okay? I want you to get rid of one of the weights. We're gonna come into a front raise again. We're gonna twist for four, come halfway back down and up again. Two, one, core tight, let's go. Twisting, four, three, two, one. I'm laughing because behind the camera, halfway down, back up again. Tense is going crazy at the moment because Alex has thrown his toy and he has no idea where it is. Are you okay there, baby? Four, halfway down and up, amazing. Four, three, two, one. Halfway only and back up again. And of course, if you need to at any point, just drop the arm, reset and up we come again. It's so important that your shoulder blades are set nice and tight. You're locking in, okay? Woo! I'm feeling the burn. Five seconds, come on, we can do it. Down, one more if you can, one more. Four, three, two, one. Oh, I just cut short your recovery. Aren't I cruel? Okay, we're gonna grab a hold of the lighter weight. If you don't have the lighter weight, you can actually just go with your arms. And trust me, you will feel the burn, okay? So we're coming up at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna turn the shoulders so the palms face up and then down. Let's go. Hi, Teddy. Hi, baby. <laughs> Good work. So it's important that we're at a 45 degree angle for this. As I said, you can just go without the weights. And after a while, it really hurts. I remember the first time I was shown this exercise and people were like, you're gonna feel the burn, that you don't need a weight. And I was like, no way. And then I did it in a circuit and it really works. So keeping those arms nice and strong. If you need to bend the arms slightly, shorten the lever, that'll make it a little bit easier, but we are not stopping. Three seconds left. Amazing, dropping those down, shake the shoulders out, grabbing the heavier weights if you can. Okay, this time we're going for a press. So we're gonna bring the arms up like so. Hi, Teddy. And we're gonna press the arms overhead, let's go. So we're pressing up, lowering down to a 90 degree angle. Good work, and back down again. Keeping this strong, I normally do this in a mirror, I'm not gonna lie, because my left side is so much weaker than my right. So you guys are my mirror today. Okay, and what I want you to focus on, keep going, is as you do this, you keep the core down, you keep the rib cage down. What I tend to see is this happening, where we want that rib cage tight, tailbone tucked, 15 seconds left. I really wanna burn after this, so I'm gonna power through, 10 seconds. 
Come on guys, we've got this together. We've got one more exercise after this, then we're repeating. Two, one, woo! Okay, we are now going for a lateral raise. So we're bringing the arms out to the side and we're lowering back down again. Teddy, are you ready? Are you ready, my explorer? <laughs> Two, one, let's go. Coming up, 90 degrees, slowly back down. Fast up, slowly, three, two, one, and mix. You are such a little monster, Teddy. Three, two, one, and up. 30 seconds left, come on. Two, one, and up. Three, two, one, and up. My shoulders. Two, one, and up. Three, two, 15 seconds, guys, no giving up. Three, two, one, home straight. Two, one, and up, last one. Oh my gosh, wow. Shake those arms out. I said I wanted a burn, and oh my gosh, I'm getting a burn. Okay, we've got the lateral raise coming up now. Front raise, I should say, not lateral raise. So the one in front, set those shoulders back. Stick the chest out, ladies, okay? Be proud of your chest. Lower, three, two, all the way down this time. One, three, two, all the way down, slow and controlled. Two, one, amazing. When we get to the last 20 seconds, we're not gonna come the whole way down. We're gonna keep the tension on the weight, which is coming up now, three, two, okay, last 20 seconds, we're coming three quarters of the way down. Two, one, don't let yourself turn off. Up we come. Three, two, one, up we come. Three, two, you can get one more in, let's go. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. And what you wanna try and do with this is keep those shoulders locked. You'll notice I started lifting a bit. If that happens, set the shoulders, keep them locked. Hi Teddy and repeat. Did you just pause? You just paused. <laughs> one, let's go. We're coming up. Four, three, two, one. Down and up. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Down and up. Let's go. Good boy, Teddy. You're doing so good. What are you looking at, baby? What are you looking at? You're working out with mummy. <laughs> Down and up. We're coming up to the halfway point, okay? No giving up. Once we get to the last 10, we're gonna keep the arms up and we're gonna twist with a full amount, okay? This is one of my favorite exercises for shoulders. Okay, let's go, 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Say well done, baby. Say well done, you feel so much heavier than normal. The mummy's arms are sore. Okay, did you call me again? Okay, grabbing the lighter weights. Wow, my shoulders. Well, we're not stopping, okay? We're going in three seconds, two, one. Let's go. So lifting those arms up, 45 degree angle, and we're twisting, okay? Again, if you want to go without weights, of course you can, and we're aiming for those shoulders to be down. The shoulders are relaxed. We're going all the way through, so what I don't want to see is shoulders up like this, okay? Setting the shoulders, chest proud and open, and we're turning. We are turning. We're turning all the way through. We're on number eight of ten, so just two left after this. Come on, guys. All the way through. We've got our press and our lateral raise. Then we are done. We've got 10 seconds left of this. If anyone else's shoulders are burning, let me know in the comments below. Let me know I'm not on my own. Three seconds left. Two, one, woo! Okay, we have our press up next. This one where we're coming up and over. 10 seconds recovery. Strap those shoulders. Wake them up, okay? Three seconds left. One, Let's go, 45 seconds. Again, rib cage is down, rib cage is soft. We're coming to a 90 degree angle. We're coming up nice and strong. So we want this from here to here. Chest is open, but rib cage is down, okay? Form is so important with this. I know 
I talk about form so much, but basically, you can probably half the amount of time that you work out by doing the right form and get the same results. So I often see people doing the incorrect form and saying, why am I not getting results? You just gotta slow it down, get that form right. Hi, Teddy baby, under 10 seconds left. <sighs> not gonna lie, these feel like 20 kg. Two, one, four, amazing. Say well done, baby. Say well done. He just wants to play, don't you? Okay, eight seconds left for recovery. We're going with our lateral raises. <sighs> not gonna lie, I wanna go lighter weights, but I'm not going to. Let's go, coming out, lateral raise. Three, two, one. Be careful, Bubba. Up. Three, two, one. <sighs> Three, two, one. 30 seconds left. <sighs> Three, two, one. We can do it. <sighs> Three. Two, one, we're over halfway now. 20 seconds left, come on, we can do it. We can do it. Let's work these arms, 15 seconds. Three, two, 10 seconds left, come on guys. Three, two, five seconds. Three, two, one, wow. Circuit two complete, even lifting my arms. Let's put it this way, I don't think I'm gonna be vlogging for the rest of the day. Okay, circuit three, we're gonna kill those abs again with a little bit of arms. I hope you guys are ready. Our circuit abs and arms, we're gonna start off again. We've already started with that roll up and punch, okay? You can have the knees bent, legs straight, whatever works for your body, 45 seconds. We're gonna be going in on some planks for this circuit, okay? Really working into the core, using strength in our arms, our shoulders. Amazing work, guys. Just getting that heart rate up a little bit with this. Good work. 15 seconds left. Come on, no giving up. 10 seconds. So nearly there now. Make those arms strong as you punch. Do it with meaning. Woo! Okay, we're going for a back plank now. Pop those weights to the side. Come on up into sitting, okay? From here, fingertips are facing forward. Heels are digging in and we're gonna lift the butt up. Okay, let's go. We're lifting up into a table position. Drop the head back and hold. Hold, hold, hold. Hi, Teddy. Hi, baby. Squeeze those butt muscles. Is he under me? He's under me. <laughs> Holding the hair. No giving up. You're using the head. Sorry, you're using the shoulders as a pillow for the head. Dig those heels in, okay? We're now gonna relax the head forward and we're gonna go for a few tricep dips. Five, four, hi Teddy, three, <laughs> two, one. And we're gonna hold to the home straight. Dig deep, dig deep guys. Five seconds, three, two, one. Woo, we're going for a side plank now. Thanks for that, Ted. I couldn't drop down, could I? Okay, side plank. We're coming onto the forearm. You've got choices in terms of your level. You can come onto the knee, go baby, or you can come full plank, okay? We're holding. Let's go, 45 seconds, nice and strong. If you're on that knee, try and hover the leg, okay? Doesn't matter what level you go for, this is your workout, holding strong. Hand down if you need to. We're gonna go for some dips when we're halfway, which is now. Dip down and up, down and up, all the way through. Again, if you need to have that hand resting, absolutely fine, you've only got just over 10 seconds left. Good work. Amazing. Nearly there, come on, two, one, Woo! 15 seconds to change sides. Quickly, quickly, okay? So coming onto that forearm, we're really working here. Guys, I'm gonna be coming onto the lower level for this, just because of my knee. So I'm gonna bend the underneath leg. Up we come, and if you can, you're hovering. Good work, it'll be a little bit too much pressure on my knee on this side. Sorry to give you excuses, I hate giving excuses, but I've also gotta be real. Come on guys, holding nice and strong. Keep that core really tight for me. Keep the rib cage down. I want you shaking, okay? We've got this together. 
In a second, we've got our hip dips, which is now dip down and up. Down and up. Down and up. 15 seconds. Come on, we can do it. I'm hopeful that Alex is going to grab Teddy in a second. Because he's making it so much harder. Five seconds left, guys. Come on, we've got this. Three, two, one more, one more. Woo! Oh my gosh, my body. Okay, next one is going to be a boat hold. This is number five of ten, okay? We've got this. We're going to roll back to our biting point. Now, relax the shoulders. We're going to work the core. Lift one leg up. Lift the other leg up and we're holding, okay? We're holding really strong. This takes us halfway. We need to place the forearms down. Of course you can, but go with the level that's really challenging you. I want to see you working during this. Again, forearms down if you want to, otherwise we're up like so. Come on, let's work. 20 seconds left. 20 seconds, that is all. Okay, we're coming into the home straight. Think strong, think core, do not give up. Okay, 10 seconds. Can anyone straighten the legs out? Five, three, two, one. Woo! Straight back in, lying back. We're going with those punches again, okay? We are really working the core today. All right, grab your weight, bend your knees or straighten whenever works for you. Let's go. Number six of oh, ten. We're so nearly there, guys. Amazing work. Come on, just 30 seconds left. Incredible. Oh, gosh. I'm not giving up. You guys shouldn't either. Come on, 20 seconds. Let's really work. Make those movements strong. Hi, baby. 10 seconds. Hi, little one. Last three seconds. One. Back to life, guys. Hi, baby. Oh, hello. Okay, you've used up all of mummy's breath. Go, 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 go. Okay, back to life. Three seconds. Oh, up we come. Come on, guys. We can do it. We can do it. Nice and strong. Back he comes. Alex! <laughs> Good work. Okay, we're nearly halfway. Ten. I'm not going to be able to do my tricep dips with you here. I have to get this for Instagram. Do it. We can do this. Guys, now you know what goes on behind the scenes. 20 seconds left. Nice and strong. We're going to go with our tricep dips now. Without squashing your dog. Two. Three. Hi, Teddy. Four. Five. Hold straight. Hold. Hold. Six seconds left. Teddy, you're going to have to move in a second, baby. Two. One. Excuse me, Teddy. Oh, you knew. Oh, you knew. Side plank coming up next, guys. I love you. I do, you little munchkin. Go, go, go. Come on, guys. Two, one. Okay, this time I challenge you to come up onto the hand rather than the forearm. Hover the leg. If you can, come into that higher level side plank and hold. Hold strong. At 20 seconds, we're going to go for those hip dips, okay? We can do it. This is the highest level. One foot on top of the other. The higher still is actually hovering. Entirely up to you. But you go for the level that suits you. We're dipping. Amazing. 15 seconds left, come on. Really good work. 10 seconds. Home straight. Five. Two, one more. Amazing straight change. Oh, on to the other side. Guys, we have literally two exercises left. That is it, okay? I'm gonna come down on to, actually I'm gonna come hand but lower level because of my knees. Whatever works for you guys, holding strong. And the goal is for your hand to be directly under your shoulder. Nice and strong. Use that core. Turn the core on, okay? At halfway, we're gonna go for our dips, which is in five seconds. 
Come on, nice and strong. Place the foot down if you have to, but if you can, you're hovering. Let's go, 20 seconds. 15 seconds, come on, we can do it. Core tight. Eight seconds left. <laughs> Three, two, one. Well done, guys. You're starting to get an idea of what Teddy's toy collection is. This is his aubergine, isn't it, baby? Five seconds left of recovery. We have boat hold now, guys. Rolling back to your biting point. Ted, you're staying with mommy for this one. Lifting the legs up, okay? Good boy, stay there, baby. Stay, stay, stay. We're nearly done. Let's see what your patience is like for 33 seconds. Hold it. 30 seconds, relax those shoulders. Anyone who can, straighten the legs out. If you need the hands behind you, absolutely fine. We're gonna try and straighten for the last 15 seconds, which is in five seconds time. Think strong. Breathe, relax the shoulders, 15 seconds. Straighten. Good work. 10 seconds left. Chest proud and open. Five, four, three, two. We made it. Well done from this little monster and I, guys. I'm so sorry he was in and out of the video so much. I hope it wasn't too distracting. And I guess you get to see what it's like working out in my household. Crazy, but amazing. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to show it some love. Let me know how you found it. I will see you tomorrow for your final workout, which is going to be going into the booty. Bye, guys. I love you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow.